want to build is a sheep shoot out of some materials that we have on our property. We've got some old fence posts and some old metal roofing. It's been laying around for a while and kind of rusty, but we can use it. It's strong enough for walls. And we need to build a chute because we've been catching sheep out in the wide open and it's not efficient at all. materials that we have and that'll allow us to handle them one at a time and have some in a catch waiting chute and the main things we're looking for is uh, we're going to do a famacha test which is where you pull down the eyelid and you check for color and the lighter it is the more anemic they become um, and most of the time that's to do with some internal parasites, mainly brown worms in our area. So we're gonna do the Famacha test on them and we're only gonna treat the ones that are real pale. So what the Famacha test does is it allows us to only treat those sheep that really need to be treated. Therefore, um, we're not building resistance to the worm medication in the parasites themselves because we want our sheep to have parasite resistance that's occurring naturally. So every time we check, if we have a sheep that has a very red under eyelid, we know that they're in good health and we do not treat them. We only treat the ones that are showing signs of anemia. Um, and our sheep are completely raised on pasture. They're 100% grass fed. However, um, we do use some corn to encourage them to get into the chute. Let me go get some sheep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, chicken. We got them. Mm -hmm. They come. They're going. <laughs> 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 finished pretty much finished shoot from the outside we've got a, a slide in guillotine style door gonna go there we've got a gate on the end that was already existing going into the yard so this will be our working area where we work them check the feet check their eyes this will be a secondary holding area we could probably fit about 15 or 20 sheep in the secondary holding area and we we'll use a premier one electric net to get them into this corner Check his eye first. Just, fit. just do a real clip. He's pretty good. I think his feet look fine. Yeah, they do. So if his feet look good. Feet look good. 
and let them out. She's good pretty color. good. Yeah, she's good. Her got some claw hoppers on there. See, they kind of chill out after you got a handle on them. Yeah, right? yeah, once you sit them on their butt, they do calm down. He's not nearly as worked up as she was. She was breathing hard. And yeah, you, she looks she's panting. Mm -hmm. She got herself all worked well, up. She's a mama, too. Very nice, sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. You're in your back right pocket, I think. You can, you can hand them to me and I'll hold them. Thanks, man. This actually worked really well. The, the guillotine. Well, you pronounced it right, honey. Yeah, it's guillotine, not guillotine. <laughs> so, well, it's just a sheet of metal, and it comes right out, it slides out. You get two or three in there, and you just close it this way. Because those ribs are sideways, it's nice and strong. They can't, they can't back out of it. And it's real lightweight. It worked like a dream. What do you think, Zaniva? More sugar? 